Don't rush. Okay. It was a journey, and there were scars. You know, sometimes it really hurt. Because no matter what you did, uh, in some ways, it would never be enough. And there's still, to this day, I cannot think of one woman, one black woman, who has been active in women's music, whose name and personage is as popular to uh, the white majority as Meg Holly Chris. We were at a music festival and someone got up and she said, it's so great to be here with our musical icons and mentioned all the white women. Mm -hmm. And it's so void of context. But don't you think there was a tremendous hunger uh, on the parts of particularly white women who were trying to escape years of dominance from the male patriarchy, which can't be overlooked. But at the same time, what it says to me is at no point in their lives had they ever been introduced to anything other than their own cultural identity. Yeah. Now that's what is shocking to me. And sad. You know, yeah. I mean, didn't you ever, like white kids in Detroit, get your transistor radio, put it under the cover, put the covers over your head, and turn on the black station? That's what a lot of folks did. That's right. But not the people in the women's music. And I used to say, well, where did these people come from? Yeah. Do they live in America? Yeah. I do. I know who you are. You don't know who I am. This women's music network, without that, I wouldn't have had the career that I have. Mm. And most of our activism in this country it's lesbian, feminist lesbians that are at the forefront that are doing a lot of the work. And they do it without acknowledgement often. So I'm happy that you're doing this film. And I'm happy to acknowledge those women because I stand on their shoulders, basically. Mm -hmm. The way I voice a chord is very important to me. One voicing will ground me, the other one sort of lifts me up. And a chord by itself means nothing. It's where it came from and where it's going. You were the first pianist that I worked with after I stopped working with Jeff Langley. And the thing I remember the most right off the bang was how much you respected space and silence, that you heard music in the silence. How did that come to be in your style and your playing? Wow. Well, I knew that if you knew what you were doing, that I didn't have to lead you, that I could let you sort of lead me. a vocal activist. Yes. How did you come to know that? Well, you know, my main mission has been to make places where all kinds of people can get together. Mm -hmm. And so I've been helping start a lot of resistance choirs. But my premise of it as a vocal activist is it resisting the temptation to otherize, resisting the temptation to separate, and resisting the temptation to make people smaller. I care about what your heart is. And if we can connect people in that way, maybe we can get past the rest of this bullshit, you know? I am sending you light 
to heal you, to hold you. I am sending you light to hold you in love.